So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a live stream encoder to Icecast or Shoutcast in under four minutes. It really is that simple. My name is Dave Bradley Jones from Air, and we're going to start by opening live stream and clicking on the add encoder button in the very top left hand corner. Once that opens, we're then going to start to type in our Shoutcast or Icecast details. Now you'll get these from your streaming provider. If you haven't got a streaming provider, then we do provide that here at Air. Just contact us via support at air.com and we're happy to assist. So I'm going to start by just filling out my details here. The description is play out one streaming. You've got the choice between Shoutcast 2, Shoutcast 1 and Icecast 1 and 2. Pop in your server host name in the box here. Port for me is 8000. My SID, if I'm using Shoutcast in this instance, is number one. If you're using Icecast, then you'll have a mount point to pop in there. If you're using Shoutcast, there's no username to enter usually. If you're using Icecast, you may need to pop one in there. And if you're unsure, just consult your streaming host for that information. Pop in your password and then set your bitrate, your sample rate, your channels, and your encoder type. Most people will use MP3, 128, stereo, 44100. That should get you off and running. Now we're going to go over to the station details tab. Here is where you will title the stream, put your web URL in, your genre. I like 80s on my channel. And if you want that to be public, tick the box to make it public. As we cross into the meta billboard data tab, you'll see there's an option not to send metadata for this encoder or an option to delay the sending of metadata. Very useful this if you have a stream and the metadata is getting there a little quicker than you'd like. It sort of says now playing and then the song, but the previous song's still playing, you can tweak this value here to uh, get them more in sync. Always quite useful. Now we're going to go to statistics. If you get your statistics from the stream, then leave that checked. If you get it from another URL, you will know this. If you do, then you'll need to set that in there. And then finally, in other, I recommend starting the encoder when live stream starts. And then there's some other settings here to not have the stream. Use a DSP if you're using one and also monitor for DNS changes. So we've clicked save, there's our encoder, but now we need to choose which audio device we want to feed to this encoder. So we go into settings and then from the first tab, audio and meta, we can select which device we want to use. Choose from an input or an output device, direct sound or wasapi, and then choose the device from the drop down list. I'm going to go choose my microphone for simplicity. Then we want to set up the metadata. If you don't want metadata, artist title coming in, then just leave it unchecked. If you've got a file with that in, then you can choose the from text file option. If you want to configure playout one monitor to send it, then choose that option and then go over to monitor, click on the station settings for your station, hop over to the metadata outputs tab, click on the live stream logo, hit yes. And then what you can do is choose where to send the metadata to. If live stream is running on the same machine as monitor, then leave everything as it is. If it's not, then you'll need to pop in the IP address of the computer running live stream and make sure you hit save. And then you should see the metadata popping through. Once that's all done, we can then go and turn on our encoder and we should see a green light. There it is. Your encoder is set up and complete.